you know, unfortunate that we, we haven't performed well in the test series, but, um, you know, we kept improving day by day, as you rightly said, um, you know, game by game, we started improving. And as the time um, went on, we, we really, um, uh, you know, started hitting our socks. And, and, and I think, um, you know, now we've, we've had a good few days in Ireland as well. Uh, but England is a completely different team. Um, you know, though it was you know convincing victories in Ireland, uh, we still have to play our best cricket to uh, you know be the English team uh, here. I mean, very hard on you with conditions at the start of a, an English summer, and you are a team in transition. But do you feel you're a, a more forceful Monday outfit? Yes, we are. I think uh, um, you know we we haven't done really well in the recent past, but we played a lot of T20 games rather than one days, and I think uh, we are a forceful you need when it comes to one days. Um, you know, we've got a um, good set of um, guys. Uh, we've got a bit of experience as well. Got, you know, guys like Maharu Fupultarang who has played a lot of cricket in England. Um, so we are a, you know, fairly, you know, forceful uh, unit when it comes to ODIs. Uh, just on to Aranga, can you just give us an update of, of well, firstly, how his health is, more importantly, and and obviously what he's going to have to go through with his action, but I mean, how is he health-wise at the moment, what's the situation? Yeah, I mean, it, it has been a tough, you know, 48 hours for him and, and the whole team is behind him and, um, you know, we are, we are fully supportive of him. And, um, you know, it, it was an unfortunate uh, incident where, I, you know, just before we went on to the field, uh, he's, uh, he, he's had a, you know, elevated heartbeat and uh, it was quite, um, you know, shocking. And, and we rushed him to the hospital and uh, we are yet to um, receive any uh, 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 or rather latest news from the doctors. So we, uh, he's undergoing some tests and, and you all will get to know very soon about his condition, but hopefully he, he is doing good. Um, yes, and, and once again, uh, another unfortunate um, decision uh, uh, incident where um, you know his his action is uh, must prove to be legal. So he's got to go back work with the fast bowling coaches and and, and come back strong. I mean, knowing him as you do, I mean, do you think he'll come through that technically? I mean, is this something that you're confident he can sort out? Yeah, we are very confident that he'll he'll come through both. I mean, his his condition as well as his uh, his action. So uh, we are very supportive of him, and the whole te team is behind him. Thank you. England are a very different one-day team these days from when we beat the World Cup. Are you quite wary of them? Yes, we are. I mean, they are a very forceful unit. Uh, you know, they've been playing really good cricket uh, in the recent past, um, in the subcontinent as well as in their conditions. So, so they are a very forceful team. So, you know, as I said before, we have to play really good cricket to beat them. Yes, definitely. I mean, we need more guys coming into England and playing a lot of cricket here to get used to these conditions. Um, the more you play, the the more you get used to these conditions. So, so we need more guys coming in playing league cricket, county cricket. You know, that'll be very beneficial for us going um, into the World Cup in 2019. But you know, our short term goal, uh, one of our short term um, you know goals are. Uh, the Champions Trophy as well in England, so this will be a, um, a good rehearsal for that as well. Kumar, I can make some introductions at Surrey and Sussex and try and get some more and players playing in the future years? Yeah, hopefully. I mean, you know, uh, well, not only Surrey and Sussex, I think there are plenty of, um, you know, counties around and, and, and hopefully the guys will be called up and, uh, you, know, they can some, you know, they can get some exposure here. <coughs> England's got a decision to make on to make up the day. Even one person that could come in is Johnny Bairstow, potentially Bairstow. I mean, he obviously had a fantastic series in the Test matches. Your, your preference for him to not play? <laughs> well, Johnny um, has played, um, you know, beautifully in the Test series, and he's he's a man in form, and 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 I'm pretty sure that you know England will will get him in the lineup. Uh, but I think we can't, you know. Call, focus on one particular player. They've got um, a good set of batsmen. It's a very well-balanced team, so, so we've got to concentrate on all 11 players. Uh, we've got to make plans for, for each and every one of them and, and try and overcome all that. And, and there's been some talk of the ICC <coughs> potentially looking at one-day cricket and putting it into a league, maybe. Bilateral games into a league and would sit 
separate to the World Cup. But would you like do you like that, the sound of that idea? Uh, well, I don't really know what what that is. Um, I haven't read anything about it, so, so I can't really comment. What's, what's just having those tests, yeah, he's just undergoing those tests, and it, it was a heli, you know elevated heartbeat, so we still don't know what it is. Yeah. Where is he now? He's in Ireland still. Yeah, he's in Ireland. He's in Ireland. Yeah. And is the team doctor stay with him or? Well, the Triple Island have provided the doctors for us. And until he finishes his test, he's not allowed to travel. So, no. so he's still in the hospital in Ireland? Yeah, yeah. He's still okay. in the hospital. What did he actually say? Like, what, what happened at the time? Did he say to him? At the time, he just called me and said uh, something happened to me. Some, yeah, he was warming up. And, and, just before, and just before we went out on the field, he just called me and said something happened to me, can you like touch my heart because it's beating fast. And I felt something unusual and so I, I quickly called the physio and then the physio went to the doctor with him. So it was kind of a, you know, shocking, uh, you know, incident. You, should, you might be aware that James Taylor, who had uh, a very fast heart beat. While he's warming up, of course, he's had to retire from the game. There's no indication at this stage whether there's, whether there's any sort of similarities to that. Is there? No, we still don't know, um, you know, exactly what's going on. So, so till the tests are done, we can't really comment on what exactly has happened. Just on, on the series itself, like two years ago there was the England One Day series here, and Josh Butler was man catted and it created a bit of a, <laughs> a bit of a storm. Do you think that this series we played in? Conspiracy, would you happily do the man again? Well, definitely, no. I mean, um, we are not definitely looking forward to doing the man uh, <laughs> But, uh, you know, within the rules, we'll, we'll, we'll play our cricket. And um, uh, if somebody is trying to take advantage of the rules, then we'll, we'll probably warn him. But, um, you know, the, the test series was played in, in very good spirit, so hopefully we'll, we'll play the one day series in very good spirit as well. Just come back to that, Andrew. That was a rough, you were quite new in the job. Um, you know, that was almost a big moment for your captaincy, but you did st stand up and say, look, I stand by what the team did, and you had support from Mahela as well. It was uh, you know, quite a time for your captaincy, it was, it was that one incident, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. I mean, you know, you, you face challenging moments in, in life as well as, you know, being a captain. Being in the hot seat is not easy. And some, sometimes you've got to make those you know, hard decisions. Uh, uh, unfortunately, I had to make that, but um, I still stand by it because we warned him twice before, and you know, that, well, that's all we could possibly do at that time. Thank you very much.